This one's touch sensitive. So all the traffic lights in Hong Kong are pretty much the same. They all seem to be LED lights made by this Supreme Tech company. Made by a few tier it's event. Oh, okay, the Supreme Tech. Oh yeah, made in Austria. Okay, I did not expect that. Probably a little difficult to see from this angle, but over there you can see the orange T light. That's for the tram lines, because there is a tram line running through the middle uh, of the roads here, there's a tram there. Um, bloody buses make a noise. But with the lights, you can see there. There's a regular green light next to a uh, next to a tram light. The actual tram lights. There's just the T. Only the green light has been replaced by an orange T. The rest of the light is just a regular yellow and then a red light. Uh, if you've got lights that are turning or for a certain direction you can probably see down there actually lights that have a green arrow on oh they've just gone red but yeah they're like the uk um hong kong traffic lights only have a green arrow a green arrow and the, the regular lights are just red and red and yellow uh, unlike in nz where all three lights will be the arrow um, I must say, I, I really like the crossing tones. They're really, really nice. I actually quite like those. Yeah, and interestingly enough, the, they have the same traffic lights um, in Macau as well. I've been to Macau. Very, very nice. And then when those lights over there change... I'm just using the zoom on my camera because I just can't be bothered to walk all the way over there. You can probably see where the green arrow is just a little bit bigger. Yep, there you go. There's a green arrow. But yeah, there you go. So this video is a lot shorter because over here in Hong Kong, the traffic lights are a lot like New Zealand in that they're kind of all the same. They're kind, there's really only sort of one manufacturer really, which for a country as small as this is not surprising. And it's kind of just all the same as opposed to say in the uk or in denmark where there's multiple different designs and multiple different manufacturers so that's why this video is shorter because there's just not so much to see because it's all the same here I look from this side of the road you can see the tram light a lot better and actually see that t shape there and here comes a tram now actually passing through the special tea light. Can I just say, what on earth goes on with Hong Kong buses? Because look, that there is a number 116. 116 operated by New World First Bus. And this is a 116 operated by KMB. So what the hell happens here? So is it like, you know, and I, I'm assuming because if you look, the bus companies all have different bus stops because this bus stop is for KMB buses. That bus stop is for New World First Bus and City Bus buses because they're because New World First Bus and City Bus are technically the same company anyway. And then there's more bus stops down there and it's the same thing down there. It's all separated. And on that side of the road, you can actually see on that side of the road, there's one bus stop for KMB 
B buses, another bus stop for City bus buses, and another bus stop for New World First bus buses. So do the bus companies all just design their own routes and use whatever numbers they like without checking first to see if another company has already used that route? Or, or is it the same route? Because like, there are two different 116s running on the same street. Who on earth thought that was a good idea?